All right, my uh, normal scheduling activities are totally interrupted because of a release just dropped a couple days ago. I followed up with it on my channel quite a bit this year, said I would report on it as soon as I heard news. Here it is. Another therapeutic first. I called that this would be released again before anybody else. I know that for a fact, except maybe the perfumer himself. Just saying, small channel. I'm doing stuff. Are you guys ready? I got to get ready for this. The perfume that begs me to put plaid on. We're talking your grandpa building one of the most precious pieces that he's put his hands on and given it to his son. And you, when you come of age, handing you that same piece. This is the same feeling I get every time I spray this. Immediately after my first spray of this, when I opened the Henley sampler pack, he generously gave me some, sprayed it immediately. I haven't talked to many perfumers at this point. I emailed Mr. Henley and said, this can't be it. This can't be done. We need more. It's got to happen again. Encore Hans. Here it is. I put it in many Easter eggs in videos. It's your fault for not watching the whole things. I dropped them. Some people caught them in comments. I said, there's a good possibility this will be remade. Here it is, reporting it. Always trying to put surprises in the videos. Most anticipated release in the U.S. in 2020. Drops a Saturday at 12 PST. I love that you're here. It's a brand new with therapeutic fragrance. Subscribe and let's go. All right, I'm going off the prices of bourbon. I don't know the price of this one. I'm guessing it's gonna be um, 250 for 50 ml. That's what bourbon's at. I don't know. Doesn't matter. This thing's gonna be sold out in under five minutes. Just so you know. So I'll do a spray for video. If I don't get mine, I don't know if many of you know, but uh, Gino gave me his sample of Bloodline. So I have the one Hans gave me sealed up factory weighed just for reference of a composition that I don't ever want to not be able to reference. So um, I fortunately have two of these. Been able to wear it a bunch. Of course, pulled it out this week to remember what's going on for the video. I have a dry down over here. I have one, I did this on purpose. I have one of my best ouds on this hand. I'll review that later this week. Um, but I wanted to smell the cedar on oud just because I love playing with that stuff. So that's what the spray is going to be. <laughs> I don't, it dried up pretty quick, but there was blood, uh, dark juice on my wrist. You see that color of that juice? I've been able to zoom on some of these. I I've, um, did an update on my camera to fix, this, fix my focusing to be quicker so I can do these bottles quicker for you guys. So that's, I mean, this is, look at the color of that. You know me in color. Color don't lie usually. Oh my gosh. Let's, let's review it. <laughs> I'm already getting hit up in private messages and comments. So just putting it up here. Perfumers Hands Henley 2020 is the release of this one. First released in 2019 as a special with the American Perfumer. Displayed many times on this channel. I'm very, very surprised. They, well, I don't know. Did you guys, did you guys, there's no way. Did you guys put this in Olfaction Wars? That they would have had to have chosen the mint. I, I'll turn off the Olfaction Awards if you guys did submit it. Let me know. Hmm. All right. Mate, this is this is what I was gonna. This is why I got went up and did the review. Was this comment right here? I copied and pasted it into the review that I started a year ago. Again, I only do these if I know there's gonna be more mate. 
So I've been like sitting on it, waiting for it, because I, I just don't want to tease with reviews like this. Don't want to be that person. And I try not to. When I know they're going to be remade, I try to release it. Or if they're going to make something similar, similar like other lines have started doing where they do similar notes, then there's a point in me reviewing it. If it's something I have that nobody else can get, there's no point. I don't want to be that person. So this is what I, what I was going to write to him, copy paste it from. Instead of going up on YouTube comments, I'm putting it here in the video. Mate, it's like a dense, wet, dark cedar that is oiled and dried, reflecting father and son. Realistic. It's a humidor that your grandpa built. Remember my opening? That's the piece of what I was talking about. Just something he put his heart and soul into that he cherished, that he spent so much time detailing out, picking the best wood for. Just making cedars all about that aroma, especially humidors. They add to cigars when you age them. It's amazing. That's something he gave his son, and that's something that even got passed down. Bloodline. It has lived. I don't know how the cedar's so condensed. I've smelt, I've smelt many, many, many cedar EOs. This one's just condensed and so much character like that. That's why I paint that picture. It's just so much character. It's like it got richer and richer, aged better, like, like an oud or different oil like that. It, it's just phenomenal trees they have down there at their farm. And then the smoke in here, it, it's not like a nuanced smoke. It's like a smoke where you overheat the saw and then you smell the, the piece of, of wood that just got sliced with the really hot saw and it's kind of toasted in a bit. That's the smoke that starts coming off of it. Just a brilliant smoke accord. All right, perfumer to the notes. Let's get into this. This is dry aged cedar with deep roots. Starts a bit oily and dries to a Texas cedar for the ages. The heart shows the pine needle as aromatics. I've had pine needle tea. When you smell that brewing up from the heat, that's the exact aromatic I start to get in the heart here. Except this time, there's a Cuba sugar in the form of a vanilla I've never smelled before. The vanilla has a lot of character. It's like age two. I don't know if it's from the cedar or the oils, but it's just got so much density and character to it too. Like it's developed uh, from a fresh vanilla. Like it's aged and become more beautiful, like wine, like, like other materials. I didn't know vanilla could do that. Not familiar with it, but this, the aromatics of the vanilla are like, I'm like, what is this? And I go see the only sweet things mentioned is vanilla. And I'm like, that smells so different. There's a couple more wood nuances that I get in there. I would describe them as a white, oily wood. I don't pick up what the notes say. That's what they come across to is my nose. And they just play as little nuances to the cedar. Almost like an aromatic deep in the, the sniff of the cedar itself, right in the heart of the fragrance. The patchouli is not fresh and light. It's dark, succulent, and herbaceous. It has a ton of sub substance to add to the perfume. And now at the point when we go hard to dry down, I know none other than the substance that's playing a part in this fragrance. Amazing how dry this is. I'm not used to this coming up. Just a brilliant use of none other than the band ingredient in the UK, my friend Oak Moss. Just a perfect dose of Oak Moss to just accentuate all the facets of that cedar, those white woods, the aromatics that I talked about. Now let's talk about the smoke accord. The smoke accord is unbelievable. It's not, it's either the hands and aid making it flow like a bellow of smoke or else it's actual smoked woods, whatnot. It's not linear. It's not a city on fire. It flows like a campfire of smoke. Brilliant accord, smoke accord in this. Amazing, literally like a campfire. You know how you get to move away, you know how wind blows, and it's not just this constant same sniff. That would be sitting on fire. This, this one has life like a campfire, like you're sitting around the, the campfire. Sometimes you get the smoke, sometimes you don't. Or you move away from it, and then it blows towards you. Like it always does me for some reason. That kind of thing, it just it flows with the perfume the smoke does. Amazing. Accord again. I know the hands and aid makes everything breathe. 
I don't know if that's it. He has an error cord for the ages, talked about it. It's when I've layered cola and bourbon, just a, a layering fragrance is dream that, that his DNA that he built himself, that he uses. It burns like the planks on my cue with a fresh cut of salmon on them. Cedar plays in the top, heart and bottom. Make no mistake, this is a woody, aromatic fragrance. Yeah, this is the bar for a cedar, woody aromatic, especially my collection. Everything I've smelled, this is the bar for it. All other wannabes should sit down because school's back in session and Mr. Henley's your teacher. Again, overall, this is a woody fragrance that a lot of men I know who don't wear fragrances would wear this. They would buy this, they'd continually buy this if you showed it to them and kept them away from everything else like a Christian Dior, Giorgio Omani, or a Mont Blanc. There's a lot of men that don't touch fragrances because of that big projection sillage of what are people, the compliment getters, the women chasers, I don't know. Just go search top 10 and they have a hundred different titles that YouTube seems to rank high and, and think all men want. There's a mass market of men that don't, they would wear something like this. It's just that character. I know women that love this. I know women that love this to death also. So I'm not gonna, um, I would put this at a 70, 30, 75, 25. Masculine being the higher one, but I know a lot of women in love with this Woody Aromatic as well. Woo! Should we do it? Nervous about this one. Should we score this thing? Huh. 1515 experience, 5-5 five, five brand new originality, projection CH 5-5, five, five, four out of five for longevity. Composition 1920, Grenadine's priced ML, 2425. You can't get to see here anywhere else. Top 10-10. Heart 5-5, five, five, base 10-10, ten, ten, final score 97. Get in the ring and fight for it this Saturday. It's going to be gone in under five minutes. It's collection worthy, however you can get it. My little channel. My little channel. Yeah, I want to keep my mouth shut. Be a few less people to compete with. I don't want to do it that way. Don't want to do the journey that way. I've said it many, many times, and now you guys are seeing me live it. You're seeing me live it. I'm going to be right there. Hands didn't. I mean, I asked him to make it a year ago. He, he didn't say, hey, Brandon, I saved your bottle. I'm in this with you guys. So here we go. I just made my competition more heavy to get this bottle. Three times, four times, I mentioned in my videos, race with me to go get it. And here I am telling you when. <sighs> Where would I wear it? This could be a signature scent if you keep in stock. Um, a Woody Aromatic switch up those days you want it. When, it's definitely a fall and winter heavy fragrances, even though lots of people don't believe in that. For me, in the summer, it's, camp. well, I do campfires year round. Campfires dream to wear something like this. Uh, I, I city on fire I've worn at campfires. This would replace that for campfires. I just love these heavy, resinous, woody fragrances at, at campfires. Something about them. Who do I see wearing this one? Big names, big perfume, Paul Newman. Absolutely. How many sprays? One to three. You're probably not going to ever get a bottle of this if you were able to get this at all. This is a two foot scent bubble. You're going to smell that cedar with you. People will smell it when you go buy them. The beautiful wood, medium tell. It lasts up to six hours for me. Again, a lot of heavy naturals. Depends how hot my skin gets, if it soaks in. You and yours. This is a video that won't get many views. This is about passion, passion of the art right here. Me sharing something I found and I'm passionate about with you. And just so you know, that same passion, this is from a subscriber. A lot of you guys know her, Amy. 
she let me know about this. And I, I asked hands about it, and, and that's how I got mine. So part of doing the journey right, right? You and yours have a great summer. I hope you guys get a bottle. Let me know if you do. Be blessed.